Hello, Mario. In this video, I'm going to be looking at how to go about storing your your work on a, a flash drive. Essentially, backing up your work so that you have a record of it. If it gets lost, you can recall it. This is an essential consideration in any workplace or any work site that your material that you produce be backed up. There's nothing more frustrating than doing a day's work and then saving something over the top of it or losing it or not being able to find it. So your ability to look after and store your work in a logical sequence and to back it up so that you can find it again if it gets corrupted or lost is an important skill that we all need to consider whenever we are undertaking work in a digital environment. Now in my previous video we discussed the digital work site and you can see the video above Mario's digital work site tour and in this here this was where we were storing or showing the files so that they were available to other colleagues and to ourselves um, for various purposes but what I'm suggesting here is, is that as well or the, in the process of saving the files onto your digital work site that you also have them saved on a flash drive and it, and in, and I expect that most of you will initially save the work onto the flash drive and then upload it from the flash drive to the digital work site. Remembering of course that we must always have the most current version of a file available because as you can imagine there could be all sorts of problems associated with having the wrong version of the file there have been changes made to it that you are not aware of because you have the wrong version. So it's very important that you have little systems in place so that you have in fact got the most up-to-date and current file available. So here we are on the work site and I'm, what I'm going to do now is to go to a to a flash drive and let's see how I think or a way of formatting it. So I, the way for me to go to a flash drive is to right click on the start there push explore and it may be different on different um, computers and you'll see here that the flash drive I've got a Mario underscore sill there and um, this is my silver flash drive and and I've named it after myself as I do Mario now it's a really good idea to name your flash drives give them a unique name it's quite simple you just put them in recognize that you've got the flat your flash drive so you might have a little uh, file or something on it or somehow recognize that it is your flash drive that you're actually naming your flash drive and not someone else's or some other thing and then you just quite just quietly just right click there and then rename and you can see that that's come up all totally highlighted you could just um, push the backspace or delete and then give it a new name I'm going to keep it the same but you can adjust you can edit the name of your flash drive. So I think Mario underscore Sill, I'm used to that, so I'm just going to keep that like that. But you name your flash drive, and then when you pop it into any computer, ah, oh, there's Mario Sill. I, um, I, you know, I know that's mine. There's no issues, and it, it saves a lot of time. Very efficient. So let's go and have a look at uh, Mario Sill, and uh, here we are. It opens up Land Surveying One which is this topic. Now you may obviously have other topics that you're going to do and you may want to store them on the flash drive. That's allowing for that. Now let's go into Land Surveying 1 itself and there you are. You can see that I have got it structured in such a way that it mirrors what the Moodle site is and I'm building it as I go. So here I've got Administration, Digital Work Site and all the files associated with those tabs will be in there. I've got one surveying XYZ, two work safe and then I've got A optical level and you can see here I've got B total station but it's not down there. So 
uh, very simple just uh, right click here and new folder remembering there's hundreds of other ways of doing this but this is the way I do um, new folder just backspace uh, uh, B this time it is B and I just a little break there and it's going to be total T O T A L total station is T A T I O N total station and there you are there's that folder there and you can see how it's mirroring that structure then as we go into each one um, we will put them you know put the various files in them so if we go and uh, for instance have a look at administration here and I'll just bring up the Explorer there so there we are in administration and details about administration what's happening uh, can be found here and I think um, at some point earlier on I did a technology survey and I didn't have anywhere else to store that so my feeling is that I stored that in administration so let's just go and have a look and there's the technology survey PDF stored away there in administration so that's a uh, a, a little quiz that was done back on the home page if I remember uh, so here's here's the home page of the website and down here I asked you to do a, a little technology survey um, which is here and I asked you to keep a copy of the technology survey and save it to PDF and that's I've where I've saved it is under administration so let's go to surveying XYZ and in here you'll see that we've have a, a number of a number of files there that have resulted so what I'm trying to model here is that the files that you would generate as part of the course so if we go to surveying XYZ just click on there you see the first thing you you do here is do a little uh, do a little quiz uh, Mario's surveying XYZ and here just clicking on this little tab here it keeps um, defaulting down to the bottom there and there's um, my answer to that is, is there I'll just expand this out a little bit so what I'm trying to demonstrate here is that I've noted um, I have named the files quite carefully note that the sort the way that um, Explorer sorts them is, is alphabetical so um, you can sort of manipulate them to some extent to make sure that they come out in the order that suits you and this is what I've done here with these dollar signs I've as you can as you know that to model the actual the actual structure of the course uh, I've got administration now the way that I've managed to do that is just to put a dollar sign because the Explorer recognizes that as, as put symbols and then I think it does numbers and then letters of the alphabet so that keeps or mirrors the structures there so that's that's your flash drive there um, that you keep make sure you I put it on and make it colorful perhaps put it on a a lanyard that you can wear around your neck um, because leaving them behind is um, a very good way of, of, of losing them or leaving them in machines and that so you need to be very careful but this will back up the material that you have placed in your in your digital work site and as an effect an effective backup you could even go one step further and perhaps if you have a laptop or a PC at home you could um, at regular intervals take a copy of your flash drive and keep a keep a backup copy of that at home or in another place in case you you lose it or it gets corrupted or someone whatever so you've always got to be aware of the digital information that you're keeping it secure so that um, in case of technology failure or things such as that you have a fallback you don't lose lose the data so there you go just a little bit of uh, information there on how to keep a nice uh, logical and store your data on a flash drive